found the Electronic Super Center here at Sim Lim Tower or Sim Lim Square. You can find everything you want times a thousand. Like there's every shop has everything you want. But price comparison, I, I thought it would be better. Uh, Amazon often has better deals. Of course, you still have to pay tax. But I was a little surprised. 15 years ago, I guess the exchange rate was a lot better. But man, it's six floors of all the electronics you could possibly want. All right, so Sentosa Island is where Singapore goes to the beach. They got three big beaches there. They're all artificial, but hey, a beach is a beach. As long as it's got sand and blue water, by my book. So we're gonna find a cool beach and a nice place to swim and relax on this cloudy day. It might rain on us too, but let's check it out. Either way, I'm getting wet. One thing is for sure, I'm not doing that. Where I'm from, we got plenty of these things, so no need to hit up that thing. This beach, Palawan Beach, is the southernmost tip of Asia. To be disputed though, because I looked at the map and it sure as heck looks to me like there's a little bit more Asia south of this, but hey, if they want to declare it southernmost tip, that's fine. There's a beach, I won't complain. Meanwhile, up in the ocean is the main shipping channel for this area. So it stirs up some water, so the water isn't as like clear as it could be in other parts of Singapore. But it's still quite beautiful. I think I'm gonna go swim in in there. That's definitely the biggest merlion I've ever seen. Actually, it's the only merlion I've ever seen. I kind of, I kind of want my own merlion. Absolutely the best hawker market in all of Singapore. This is Newton Circle. Everything you want, spicy pepper crab, chili crab, tiger prawn, satay, and then for dessert, red bean and corn soup, because that's the thing here. Otherwise, maybe if you're a Westerner, you'll go for the mango juice. They're gonna bite your fingers off. <laughs> what is that? Is that that's the pepper crab? Or uh, can you please do surgeon hands? And that is the saute. Your... I don't know how much video I'll be able to take, but I've been looking forward to this the entire time I've been in Singapore. This is the night safari. The zoo is open during the night, and you get to see all the nocturnal animals at your own pace. There's a tram, but you can also walk it. <laughs> and there's wild animals everywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's really dark here at the night safari, so the camera's not really picking up the low light levels too well, but it is one of the coolest things I've been a part of in a zoo atmosphere. Even the bathroom is really rad. I peed right there, you wash your hands right there, and there's a rainforest right there, open. Pretty wild. The monkeys will even come up to you and shake it.
The night safari was amazing. The camera did not, of course, pick up anything. But when you're in Singapore, put this at the top of your list. Go and visit Chenggu. He's their mascot. Did you know that Singapore is one of only three city-states left in the world? The other two are Monaco and the Vatican City, which also makes Singapore the only island city-state left in the world. We're eating at a one-star Michelin restaurant that serves nothing but chicken and rice. But it's been reviewed by all of these guys. So it must be some damn good chicken and rice. Right, Topher? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check it out, dip it in the chili sauce. Super tender, soft, it's really good. I could go for a whole chicken like this. It's really good. Today is my last day here in tropical Singapore and I gotta say, unlike a lot of places I've been for work, I would actually come back here for fun. I feel like you could spend a week here recreationally with the family and see just about everything there is to see. But it, there sure is a lot to do. And the people are very kind. And everything is super clean. It's very hot and it usually rains every day about four o'clock, just like in Florida. So yeah, two thumbs up for Singapore. Also the exchange rate is quite favorable to the US dollar, which is one US dollar to a dollar thirty-five in Singaporean dollars. My favorite part about the country is the confluence of cultures, mostly Chinese and Muslim and Indian, but you also get lots of Japanese. It's just a really good world mix of cultures. I feel like it's a, a world city. One of my other favorite things about Singapore is that my smartphone has been working this entire time. So I feel smarter. I'd say this country really has its shit together. Just don't chew gum or spit it out or vape or walk on the sidewalk crack or litter. Otherwise, big fines and you get caned. And they like to make an example of foreigners. So yeah, you kinda gotta follow the rules. But if you follow the rules, it's a fine city. Mm -hmm. Fine.